Hey filmmakers, Shung here. Welcome to the startup guide for the Xeon Crane M2. So here we have the M2 and we are going to show you how to set up your camera with the M2, how to balance it first. So first thing we want to use is the tripod feet. So this we are going to add at the bottom of the M2. So we can have the M2 standing so we can easily balance it so then we are going to add the bottom plate under the camera so we need to use this knob here and also a tip if you are not using it use this screw hole quarter 20 and put it there so you won't easily lose this uh, thumb screw so we're going to put this here and put this under the camera so because we're using a quite big camera here that's why we're using this uh, further end over here so I'm going to tighten this like this and we don't need to fully tighten it because we still need to slide it forward and backwards and we are going to attach it here onto this section so slide this plate in there and then tighten this knob over here so tighten that so now it won't move and now we're going to unlock this back knob and hold this motor and push this up and now it unlocks it and the first motor we're going to balance is the back roll motor that's the easiest because that one um, yeah otherwise you need to hold try to hold it straight so instead of holding it straight why not just directly balance it so just balance it till it's actually quite horizontal and then we lock it down. So that was it for the back motor. And then I do the up and down. So the up and down is with this knob over here. So we'll unlock this. We see it's too much to this side so we want it to move on to the other side. So or actually move the camera down until it keeps the positioning aiming up so now it's doing that we're going to lock this and now we're going to do the front and back so we can see it's falling towards that side so we want to move the camera to the other side so unlock the screw on the bottom and then remove the camera until it's straight and a little bit more and then tighten it down and there we have it okay slightly more forward Okay, so now to test the balance we can move the camera like try to see if it's hold the position so we can see it doesn't hold the position so we can test out see if it's the up and down so here we can see when we go back to the up and down it's moving forward so we want to improve that so we want to move it slightly more back now lock it down and now it's perfect so now it's holding all the position perfectly and not moving on its own and also for the back motor we can test out that is also perfect so the reason for that why it needs to hold the positioning is that if it can do that, 
it will lessen the stress on the motors and also make it easier to balance or keep your camera much more stable. So now we're going to unlock the raw or yaw motor by unlocking this lock over here. Just slide it over and now it's unlocked. And now we are going to balance the bottom motor. So to do that is with this knob over here, we unlock this and what we want to achieve is this knob aiming uh, upwards and this is slightly more difficult because we have like the entire camera moving and we have it I think yeah we have it here achieved so I'm going to lock it down again so it's actually aimed upwards that's all we need so now all three axes is well balanced now that all the axes are balanced we are going to turn the gimbal on here on the side we're going to hold this button move this up and that will turn on the gimbal now the gimbal start moving and the first thing we are going to do is go into the menu so you might feel like there is slight vibration going on or uh, yeah anything like that it's not moving perfectly yet depending on your camera so i'm feeling with this there is a slight vibration so i'm going to into the menu pressing this button and we are going to motors and we're going to change the motor strength it says it's turned low but it's actually now into standby mode to get out of standby mode we're going to hold the M button now it's out of standby mode and I can feel the vibration is now gone so right now the, actually the motors are pretty strong so that's why even with this camera it's a low setting so first we are in pen follow mode so pen follow what it means it just follows the panning movement if we click mode button once again we're in lock mode so it keeps the camera straight aiming forward and not moving it at all so now we are in pov mode what it does it can do a full 360 rotation and also like really crazy angles like this and if we double press we are in go mode but the go mode is also a full follow mode so it also does quick follows press the M mode twice again to go into the vortex mode so the vortex mode it will aims up and basically it will then aims where you want it to be to rotate the camera we just use the joystick on the gimbal to rotate it left or right so now explaining the front trigger if we press this once we go into full follow and if we press it again we actually return to the previous mode and that is pen follow for this if we put this in the odd angle and now double press it it will reset so double press this trigger is reset and triple press is selfie mode so triple press selfie mode now we have unlocked it so we can do the tilt up and down in pen follow mode but if we double press here on the menu button now if we press the joystick it will not move so if we press double click again we can now do the tilt so now we're going to show you how to lock up the gimbal if you don't use it so first we're going to turn it off with this pressing up until it's turned off now we are going to remove the camera but that is not something you must do but I'm going to show you how to use the memory lock 
So we're going to unlock it with this knob on the bottom here. So that is to unlock that. And then this silver knob, we're going to hold this. We can slide the camera out. So sliding the camera out, of course, we can use the camera as a normal camera to take photos instead of having it on the gimbal. And now to show you the memory lock. So here we have a small lock, extra lock here going on. So this we can unlock moving it up like this and then slide it into this groove area and rotating it and locking it down now. So now this will remember this area and now we are going to unlock the back motor. We're going to move this all the way like that. We're going to move this section like this. And now we're going to move, hold this in place like this, and then move the entire thing down. So once it moves down, it will actually lock this whole section. And then now we're going to lock this uh, yeah, roll motor thumb screw. So now this top is locked so it doesn't move. Now to lock the yaw motor, we're going to slide this red knob and now just it's now locked into place. So now it's nicely locked and uh, depending on the size of your bag, we could leave the camera on the gimbal itself and that is literally dependable on the size of your bag personally i can leave mine in my bag but uh, we're going to show you guys a little bit how the memory lock actually works so now if we want to actually use the gimbal we're going to unlock the yaw motor here so now it can rotate again unlock this so and then what i find it easiest push this hold this motor and push this up and turning it like that and here we have this memory lock so we're going to slide this all the way to this and hit that memory lock now we can lock down the back motor and we can just slide in the camera again lock this down and we can see it's totally already in balance so we don't need to rebalance it again and we can just directly turn it on and use it. So it's super quick and pretty much that was all that you guys should need to know to how to start using the Xeon Crane M2. I have a different video how to connect the camera with the gimbal through the phone app and also, of course, uh, by connecting it with the phone app, you can control it with your phone app or wirelessly control your camera with the buttons on the gimbal itself to start and stop record and also to zoom in and zoom out. That was mainly it. Hope you guys found this a very useful video. If you are new to this channel and want to see more upcoming videos, please hit that subscribe button here below. Also, make sure to hit that bell icon so you're always updated when I post a new video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.